Right now, the search is on after several house fires this weekend. At least two of them were intentionally set, but fire officials aren't saying if the two are connected. This morning, neighbors are on edge. It's why Wake Up Charlotte's Destiny Richards is joining us now from Charlotte Fire Headquarters. She's got the latest. Destiny, what do you know? Well, the Charlotte Fire Department is estimating nearly $21,000 in damage for one of those homes set on fire on Saturday in East Charlotte. Another fire set nearly 24 hours earlier is estimated to cost $115,000. The Charlotte Fire Department is investigating two house fires intentionally set in the last two days. One happened on Park Drive near Independence Park shortly after midnight on Saturday morning. The other on Saturday night on Linda Lake Court in East Charlotte. But it is kind of unsettling. Firefighters have already deemed the house on Park Drive unsafe. Darren Solomon with the North Carolina International Association of Arson Investigators gave some insight into three things that are important in fire investigations. Fire dynamic, meaning how hot it burns, fire chemistry, indicators of accelerants like gasoline, and lastly, witness statements. While the investigation continues, neighbors hope other homes in Charlotte don't have to suffer the same fate. People have to change, and I think it's, um, the vibes that we send out to the people that we walk past every day. And until that happens, it's going to continue. Now, right now, the Charlotte Fire Department is asking for anyone with any new information, even an anonymous tip, to call their Crime Stoppers line. That number is 704-334-1600. Live at the Charlotte Fire Headquarters, Destiny Richards, Wake Up Charlotte. All right, Destiny, thanks. Officials are also investigating a deadly fire from the, over the weekend in East Charlotte. Crews responded to a fire on Fairs Road near 485 Saturday night. Fire officials say one person is dead and two others are seriously injured and the cause of the fire is still under investigation.